Hi, beautiful. Today we're doing these. <gasps> Where did you come from? How did you get your head on the tripod like that? It's been a long time since I've done a haircut tutorial, and I know you're eager to get back on camera, get back in the swing of things. I just haven't needed you. And I'm sorry. I know you were in the closet for a year, and I know it gets a little bit dark and, and scary in there, but you have your mannequin friends in there, right? <laughs> you don't like them? Okay. Well, listen. We're happy to have you back, sweetheart. Miss Manny Quinn um, says hello, everybody, and she has seen all your comments and uh, is very excited to be here today. Let's give a round of applause for Miss Manny Quinn. Um, welcome back. <laughs> okay, just don't scare me like that again, please. And you, you can stay there, but don't look at me. So like I was saying, we're doing- <gasps> Why are you looking at me like that? I just said, don't look at me. What the f is wrong with you? You know, just stay there. Just stay. Now we're obviously all here for one reason today, and that is to learn how to do this iconic Sabrina Carpenter haircut all by yourself at home. I see so many videos of people trying to emulate her hair, her hairstyle, her hair cut, her curtain bangs, and I'm gonna show you how to do all of it. And it is not that hard, especially when I teach you. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna make it as easy as possible. So let's get into it. Here is the Sabrina cut. Now before we start the haircut, let me talk about what this haircut actually is. She kind of has like medium length layers in the back of her head. Now of course she is wearing extensions, so it really helps with the volume at her ends and yours might not look exactly the same unless you wear extensions, but this is kind of what's going on in the back. Now for the front, she definitely has a lot of angling and medium long layers, plus a little curtain bang. And for the style, Styling of her hair, she definitely wears these kind of almost glamour waves. Like they're kind of going in towards her face and has a lot of movement and body and texture. So we're gonna go for exactly that look when we go to the styling portion of today's video. <sighs> it's your time to shine, baby. Don't let me down today. Oh, she has been in that closet for a year, like I said, and um, the inches are inched. This is what happens when you leave your hair alone for a year. It gets gorgeous. Your scalp health is on point, babe. Ooh. Kind of sad to cut it, to be honest with you. Oh, it also, obviously Sabrina doesn't do her own hair typically for events and shows and wherever you see her. Her hairstylist's name is Scott King. Uh, this is him. He is an incredible hairstylist who does, I believe, her styling. I'm not sure if he does her cut, but most of the styling work and probably the cut too. We love you, Scott, and thank you for giving Sabrina the most gorgeous hair ever so we can all try and achieve it at home. So obviously, we gotta give credit to the hairdresser who is the mastermind behind the gorgeous style we see all the time on Miss Sabrina. They're the ones behind the scenes putting in the work so that these stars can look their best. So you know the drill here, we're gonna need some tools. A comb would be great, two hair elastics, and lastly, the most important thing of all, hair cutting scissors. You can get a cheap pair in a lot of places. I think the dollar store literally sells hair cutting scissors that work for at least one haircut. Like, you can get them anywhere. But I would recommend cutting scissors because these, it's just gonna make your whole life a whole lot easier instead of using some scissors you find around the house. Now, after years of watching you guys follow my cutting tutorials, I've noticed something. 90% of people do not want to wet their hair before they cut it. And I always say, wet your hair before you cut it. I took a different approach today because I wanna make things easier for you and apparently you all like your hair being dry when you cut it. So we did straighten Miss Manny Quinn's hair. Now, if you're gonna cut it dry, it must be very, very, very straight. Like this straight. Wow, she looks good today. I'm kind of sad to see this hair go. No little curls at the roots, no curls back here, no wave on the hairline. We want it very smooth and silky straight. Or if you do not want to do that and it's easier for you to just wet your hair, definitely do that instead. And if you're going to cut your hair very wet, make sure it's extremely soaking wet, like dripping. Great. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Please listen to me though. All right, we are on to step one. Now this step is optional for those of you with with very long hair. Now the Sabrina cut, she does have very long hair. So you're probably gonna wanna keep most of the length, if not all of
all of it. But if you would like to do a little trim on yourself, all you gotta do is ask somebody to trim the back of your hair. Or if you do not have somebody there to help you, all you gotta do is divide the hair in two, bring it forward and just snip off about an inch or so. But again, we want to keep most of that length for this haircut. Let me just go in and just cut a little bit of her dead ends off because it is not looking too cute. And that is all I'm going to do. I don't know if you see that. There you go. Very little bit cut off. Gorgeous. Step one complete. Amazing job. All right, now let's get deeper into this cut. So we're gonna put our hair into a ponytail. I'm just taking a regular brush. Wow, there's a lot of hair in here. Oh, girl, you are shedding. We're gonna just bring all of the hair back into a ponytail. All of your hair. Super easy. If you can't do this, stop here and just don't do this cut. Sometimes I really worry about you guys when you can't even make a ponytail. And I'm like, well, how else? Well, how are you gonna do anything if you can't make a ponytail on yourself? Now, this ponytail is going to sit right on the back of the head. Sort of a low ponytail right here. Just a normal like gym ponytail, if you will. We do not want a high, high pony. That is super important. Do not make this at the top of your head. Do not put this like up here or it will look crazy. This is what we want. Great job. Next, I'm gonna pull a little strand of hair out of the ponytail. Just like that. Now we're gonna lift up this ponytail and we're gonna pull it out from where it lives. So right this way. We're going to take the hair from the nape of the neck and measure where it ends. Mine ends about here. This hair is here and this hair ends about there. This is to ensure we do not cut any length off the hair. So this is as much as we can cut without cutting length off. And we're trying to retain that length, like I said before, from where it lives, Pull the hair from the nape of the neck, measure it, make sure this is nice and taut, and we're gonna cut right there. As we release the hair down, we just wanna keep the tension on our fingers. We can cut all of that hair off. Ooh. And that is what it should look like for you at this moment. Now, you'll see as you lay your ponytail down, you already have layering in the ponytail. See this angle we have? That is exactly what we want. And I know all of you guys are gonna try and point cut the hair now. Skip it, guys. You don't need to do it. You don't need to point cut. It's already going to have a lot of diffusion throughout the layers because we over direct the hair so far out from where it lives. So what I mean by that is if the hair typically lives down here, hanging this way. If we pick it up here and cut it, we're gonna get a lot of diffused layering. And if we pick it up all the way up here, it's gonna be even more diffused. And if we go down here, it's gonna be less diffused. See that? Learn something new every day. Once we're done with the ponytail portion of this, we're going to let the hair down and we're gonna see some magic happen, but we are not done. Let's see though. Ooh, this is the most exciting part of all. I'm like, hopefully it looks good, imagine. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. This is gonna be gorgeous. This hairstyle looks a lot better with some beautiful waves and body in the hair. So let's see what we have. So we obviously have some layering in here, but it is kind of medium long layers, but they are beautifully diffused with no point cutting and they're quite seamless already, even with this pin straight hair. So that's a great sign. And the thickness of the ends is still there. It's still retained. Obviously, once you cut layers, you're not gonna have as thick of ends, but it still looks beautiful it doesn't look like she's balding or has a mullet. So I'm very happy with this so far. We definitely want to see this sort of moment. See that? How it kind of like cascades down into longer hair and it just gradually happens. That is exactly what we're looking for. Beautiful. You're almost there, babe. You almost look exactly like Sleeper and Carpenter. You came out of retirement and you got the best haircut ever. All right, next step. We're gonna grab our ponytail holder again. Here it is. And next we're gonna pull all the hair forward right in the center of the eyebrows. One moment, please. <laughs> oh God. Are you okay? Oh my God, I just ripped her neck off. Yo, I am so sorry about this. Just pretend that didn't happen. It's okay. Oh, yeah, you're good now. See, you're fine. You're fine.
Now, in some previous cuts I've shown you guys how to do, like the butterfly cut, I told you to bring this section to the middle of your eyebrows. Now, this time, we're going to have it at the top of the forehead, right up here. This is going to give us the ultimate amount of layering and face framing, plus a little curtain bang all at once. Super easy, super fast to get everything done in one cut. Now, we're taking a piece from the nape of the neck. We can just pull it right out of the ponytail. Here is mine, gorgeous. We are gonna do the same thing where we measure how long that hair is. It ends about right here for me, so I can cut about that much off without losing length. Gorgeous. So, we're pulling the hair perpendicular to where the ponytail sits, so right here, straight line. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> now you'll see in this ponytail, we have a lot of beautiful layering going on already. See how it goes down like that. That is exactly what we want. We're almost done. Let's pull this out and hope for the best. <laughs> Just kidding, maybe for you. <laughs> Ooh, I am already seeing how stunning these layers are. Look at that. Gorgeous. Of course, it's gonna look a little bit choppy because her hair is so straight, but it will not look like that when we blow it out. Oh, yes. I mean, she looks a little bit crazy with the straight hair, but this is the vision, I promise. Ooh, oh no, a little brush and she is golden. It's one of my favorite cuts we've ever done, guys. As you can see, she has gorgeous, gorgeous layering all throughout the front of her hair. It is perfect. Perfect layers. Now that is definitely gonna give us that Sabrina look when this is all blow dried and this is all kind of curved in like that. And she still has hair at the bottom. Obviously it's a little bit thinner, that's inevitable, but she still has some length and it's looking gorgeous. If we now wanna go in and cut just a little bit more off the ends, you can totally do that just to thicken them up a little bit, but I love the way her hair looks. I think this looks incredible. You're doing a fabulous job. Now, you could either leave the hair here if you do not want the curtain bangs, but a classic Sabrina Carpenter haircut like this always has a curtain bang, and it's always styled to perfection. And cutting curtain bangs is very simple. I do have a whole nother tutorial on that, which you can find linked below if you want a little bit more information than this. But basically, all you gotta do, push the hair forward, just like that. I like to go about like an inch to an inch and a half back and kind of make this into like a pie slice section going to the side of her eyebrow. It's like a little triangle sort of. Now the secret with curtain bangs is over direction. So if the hair comes from over here and lives down here, we're gonna pull it all the way to the opposite side and cut at a diagonal. I like to go to about the lip area for my curtain bangs. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is gonna be as good, a good ass Sabrina bang. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the opposite side. I'm gonna take the same exact sectioning. I'm gonna go over this way. I'm going to take this hair right from what we just cut and measure where we cut. Make sure my hands are in the right place, perpendicular to the side of the head. And let it down. And it should be a, the exact same length. So you'll take these two hairs and check it out. Oh, we made a little mistake. Let's cut that side a little bit shorter. It's okay. This happens with haircuts. We'll measure again. And that looks exactly the same on both sides. Now, if you're still with me doing your curtain bangs, let's just do one last thing to really tie this whole look together. And it's really easy. All you gotta do is comb all the hair to the front of the head and see where those curtain bangs end. Use the back portion of the scissors to slide cut down from the longest piece of those curtain bangs down to your length. And that's just gonna give you a little bit more connection between those bangs and the rest of the hair. And that is exactly what we want. And the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, and here is the final cut before we go in and style the hair. She is layered up all around her head. She has a little bit of a longer layering moment in the back than say a butterfly cut or a wolf cut, which I love. And she's retained her length and she has these beautiful face framing layers. Now to tie this whole haircut together and bring it to life, we are gonna give it a 
beautiful, glamorous blowout. So let me show you how to get the perfect Sabrina Carpenter blowout. All right, Miss Manny Quinn has been wet and then rough dried. If your hair is on the straighter side or naturally just lightly wavy, definitely rough dry to about 80 or 90%. If your hair is on the curlier side, you don't wanna rough dry as much. The blow dryer I'm gonna use today is just for you guys because normally I would use a regular blow dryer with a round brush, but I know everybody doesn't have the skill to do that at home and it's not that easy to do to yourself. So today I'll be using the Shark Flex Style to do my blow drying and then I'll be using my T3 one and a half inch curling iron. These are the two things I'll be using today. So find something similar or use a round brush and a blow dryer. You'll need about 10 to 15 of these hair clips or any kind of hair clip that is nice and wide. For styling products, I'm gonna go very simple today because with these big voluminous gorgeous Hollywood blowouts, you don't wanna put too much product or your hair will be weighed down. So all I'm gonna use today is a little bit of force field heat shield, the classic, the one, the only. This product protects your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit of heat. So you are going to be Protected, babe. I promise. Oh my god. This thing is the best. It is a classic for X Mondo and I love it the most. So we're gonna spray this on our wet hair. This also has pro vitamin B5 in it, which is going to expand the hair fiber and make it look fuller and thicker. It's gonna also add shine and style retention. And it just smells impeccable. Now we're gonna be using also another classic Viper Smoothing Oil. Ooh. This will make your hair so slippery smooth and shiny and infuse your hair with essential nutrients. And it's like wearing a perfume in your hair. It is the most divine smell ever. We're just gonna put this all through the ends of the hair and then work our way up. Oof, she is gonna be glistening. Her hair is already drying quite fast because her hair is very dry, but that is okay. We do not need it that wet since we're gonna go in with double styling so her hair lasts and she gets extremely smooth, gorgeous results. It'll be fine. We're gonna put these two away and get blow dry. Okay, now I do my typical sectioning, which is the halo section. So it's really just taking a circle sort of out of the top of the hair and leaving the rest down around the perimeter of the face. And we start with that hair. Your hair girl is drying crazy fast. Yours should be more wet than this. I'm gonna wet her hair again, but my goodness. Her hair is resistant to water. This is what it looks like from the back and the sides. All right, next, all we're gonna do is take this bang section and blow dry it all together. Gorgeous. You guys are doing a great job today. I am very, very proud of each and every one of you. We're gonna take all this hair in the front of the head right here and blow dry that inwards towards your face. Let's do it. You'll need about 10 to 15 of these hair clips or any kind of hair clip that is nice and wide. Amazing. That section is complete. It should look just like this. Now to set it into place and get a little bit more curl in the hair, we're gonna take our one and a half inch curling iron and just curl it towards the face just like this. Just let it in there for a second and drop it out. Leave it there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And clip it into place. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna do the same exact thing for the next two sections. So the next section will be here on the side of the head and the next one back here. Same thing, blow drying inwards towards the body and then curling it inwards towards the body and clipping it into place. You get an extra bonus if you over direct the hair towards your face as you blow dry it, by the way. That's a little extra thing. Uh, if you want some really good curvature with your face framing layers, you're gonna wanna blow dry it really far in the front of your face like that. Beautiful. On to the last section. Let's finish it off with the exact same thing again. All right, we are getting towards the end. Gorgeous. This is exactly what we want to see. Three sections or four if you have more hair. This is the perfect little setup. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side of the head and I'll be right back once I'm done with that.
By the way, you guys, I love this thing for just like easy at home blowouts. It is not very simple holding a brush and a blow dryer at the same time, I know. And this has a lot of different attachments, so. Okay, we are on to the last couple of sections. I like to just do a big giant mother section in the back, all right? So I just do this entire thing all together. Now with these sections, I really like to over direct them out from where they live. So we have more body and more volume. So you can kind of direct this upwards and direct this one also upwards. But these are all going to be going inwards just like everything else we did. So always in towards the head with the blow dry and with the curls. That's very important. I'm also just gonna spray a little bit more force field heat shield right under the hair because it does have style memory technology built into it. So it's gonna help keep that volume in place for longer and keep that style lasting. All right, we got a bit of that volume in there. Gorgeous. And now let's take our curling iron and do the same thing we've been doing, but this time with an elevated section. We're gonna pick the hair up here and curl from up here. You only need to let it sit for a second since we are pin curling and that heat will set in the hair no matter what. So don't worry too much about letting it sit in the hair for a long period of time and clip it in place. We are almost done, one more section. Now this section is where we get that ba ba voom volume. Direct this straight off the head like this as high as you possibly can go without breaking your arms and blow dry it. Almost broke my arm there. <coughs> Okay, we're gonna brush that up and finish it with our last and final curl. Okay, this is about what your hair should look like. It is okay if it looks a little different or a little more sloppy. Like mine doesn't look that pretty, but it is in place and this is the full look right now. Let's get her facing forward for you because this is my favorite part of all, letting the hair down and seeing our creation come to life. The haircut's gonna come to life, she's gonna come to life and it's gonna be fabulous. We're first gonna make sure this all set in place for about 15 minutes, five minutes if you really want to. Sometimes I pull trig a little too fast, but the more you let it sit, the more those waves and curls are going to really set in place. So definitely let it sit for a minute. Or if you wanna take some shortcuts, just blast your hair with some cold air from the blow dryer. But the front should definitely be set. So let's take those out. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be gorgeous. Just wait. Mm-hmm, yep. That's, that's essentially exactly what I want. <sighs> wow. We did it again, guys. Oh my God. This is gonna be gorgeous. Oof, look at that volume. Va va boom, baby. This is the thing in life that makes me happy. This, this right here. And our last section. Now, when we're here, we can definitely spray some hairspray in so we really get these waves intact, but she's looking good to me, so I'm not gonna do any hairspray right now. And she has really dry hair, so we don't wanna dry it out anymore. I'm gonna take my Mason Pearson brush, but you can use whatever brush you want, even a detangling brush is fine, or a comb. And I'm gonna comb the hair back and get the hair where I want it. We don't wanna do too much combing because Sabrina's hair still has a lot of curl intact. Look at this. All right, we're just gonna lay the hair exactly in place where we want it. And as you can see, because we blue dry those bangs forward, we now have this perfect swoop bang and it is stunning. I'm just gonna brush the hair right into the face like that because that is how Sabrina wears it. And I just like to put some clips in just like this. This is looking so Sabrina and so pretty. We're just gonna set the hair in place with some flat clips and do a little spray all over. Oh my God. Once that dries down, we're just gonna remove our clips and we will have that perfect Sabrina Carpenter hair. And this is the final Sabrina Carpenter, aka the Sabrina cut and the Sabrina blowout. This is so pretty. This is by far, I think my favorite sort of DIY haircut we've ever done on this channel. This is so incredibly sexy and the perfect amount of layers to add so much volume and body and movement to make the hair come to life. These curtain bangs also just bring it all together. Oh my God. And also the blowout. The blowout 
stole the show. Come on. This actually looks like her head. That's so crazy. What? That is wild. Look at these layers. They're nice and medium length. They're in there for sure, but they're not super short like some other haircuts like the butterfly or wolf cut. You can't even mess this hair up. Like once this is done, you just have the most perfect hair ever. She is definitely giving pop star. Is it that mean espresso? Cause I'm a Butterfly cut, move over. Cause we got a new in town. Oh my God, the Sabrina cut is definitely my favorite cut. And I cannot wait for you guys to try it on your own hair at home. This is the one. I'm obsessed. If you guys wanna check out any of the products I use in today's video, they are linked down below. And you can check out other hair care or hair color products by me on my website at xmodohair.com. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.